All right, guys, here we go. 57 seconds left to get the Fox Body in pink, the 93 Ford Mustang Cobra R28 Bones. I'm signed in, so I don't know why it doesn't know my country. But anyway, here we go. Wait, should I do that just in case? Yeah, United States. All right, it's already there, bro. Okay. Okay, so 35 seconds, dude. I don't know what's going to happen here. We do not have the Overdrive membership. So this will be our first RLC purchase since not having Overdrive. I did renew this membership. I still need to do the second one. I'm only going to go for one, just to be fair, give other guys a chance to get it. This is for me, for the old PC. I do have a lot of pink cars from the last few years. They only drop this one pink car per year in the RLC. In past years, it's not been great. Didn't have real riders. They were like the red line. Here we go. The site has been super laggy today. When I renewed the membership, it took quite a while. And as we can see, it's already kind of slow. View cart. One per person. We'll see. Solve this thing. I'm a human. See, it's really laggy, this site, and I know it's not my Wi-Fi. All right, we're in line to check out. I didn't have to do anything but click a button that says I'm a human, which, okay, interesting. I'm not seeing anything calculating the time. Wow, this is laggy, dude. We are 12.01, one minute after the drop. They're still available. Didn't see a lot of pausing, like, from the bot, so less than a minute to go. I mean, gosh, maybe we could get two by logging into the other account. But no, we're just going to get one this time. It's all right. Just for me. Just for the old PC, like I said, the personal collection. Checkout is loading. Under a minute, and it was under a minute, but this it's just so laggy. Like, see how long it's taken to do anything? This is what happened, too, with the renewal of the membership. Like, the checkout never loaded. I had to refresh, even though you're not supposed to. I refreshed it, and then the checkout page came up right away. I'm so tempted to do it now. What do we do? 12.02, 12.02 p.m. Still, it's still just frozen. This happened when I renewed too, but I refreshed and then the checkout page loaded. So I don't know what to do. Yeah, see, same deal. Just sitting here. Yeah, whatever, dude, I'm gonna refresh it. Who cares? Hello. Hopefully it goes right to the, oh, now we're getting something. It moved a little. Should I just keep doing that until it moves? In line to check out. All right, will it move more? Wow, super weird, dude. I refreshed it twice, and now it's letting me pay. You're not supposed to be refreshing the page, but it seems to have worked here. All right, cool. We just got charged for the pink RLC Mustang, paid by 12.03, 12.04 p.m. The page is not flipping to show me confirmation. However, I did see that we were billed. Super weird, there was no like security check. I just clicked a box saying I'm human and that was it. Wow, close to $40 for that bad boy ship, dude. 37 and change. Okay, there we go, guys. We have the RLC exclusive pink edition Ford Mustang Cobra R on the way. Super cool Fox body. I could get two. I'm going to just grab the one, leave the other one for somebody else that may really be into Fox bodies. I mean, I like them and stuff, but it's probably the one of the best pink cars I've actually seen in quite some time. I know that people like the R34. I was not a big fan. I didn't really like the white trim and stuff that they did. It didn't even get one. I don't think we even tried. All right, welcome back to the channel, my people. Hope everyone's having a wonderful day. Hope you saw yesterday's video it was pretty cool. Because we're throwing or trying to organize a diecast event that could possibly be monthly, maybe bi-monthly, we were checking out a collection from a gentleman that's been collecting for many, many years. We saw comic books dated back to 1966, I believe, maybe even older. There was things I didn't film as well. He had some Barbies, other things that I just didn't think would really show well on our diecast channel. And we've showed comic book things before and other collectibles, so I wanted to include those because they were so old. As you saw, we did get the RLC pink Mustang. Very cool, very nice Mustang. Very excited to get that car as they only drop one pink release every year. In the past, the cars had a red line club wheel or tire, which is the plastic tire, and it has the red ring. And this one has real riders, which is pretty cool. So definitely excited to get it. I have shown some of my pink cars in a RLC video recently, which you can check out by clicking up 
in the corner. All right, today we're here at the Diecast compound. It's time, dude. We need to get this done. I want to find something to polish them a little bit better, make them have a little bit better finish. Unless we just paint the other ones red, it won't matter. Hopefully the paint will fill in some of those imperfections. As I said in yesterday's video, I did print the water slide decals. Unfortunately, they're not as dark. Like that doesn't seem very black to me. It looks better on camera than IRL. And I think that size should be pretty good. I did a couple different test prints to see which one I wanted, and I think these are gonna work great. I sprayed them with a clear coat. It does say in the instructions to do that, a spray sealant or a clear coat sealant, however you wanna call it. So now we need to cut out this little graphic, soak it in some water, and hope that somehow this works. Like, if I'm printing on top of this thing, right? Like, I understand, like, if you're making a decal and there's a backing and then the decal is underneath this other layer. Ours is printed on the top. So I don't know if somehow the ink goes through whatever this upper layer is. I don't know what's gonna happen here. I've never done this before, but we're gonna find out together. All right, well, I've got some water there. I guess we'll, I guess we'll just waste this whole sheet since there's obviously more room to do like more decals cut this out I don't know how close you have to be to the edge let's just cut it and then I can like fine trim it yeah this is this is gonna be interesting dude I don't know if I should be like rubbing alcoholing that to prep it or what so I'm gonna come in here I'm gonna do a little trimmy trim in case it shows some of the leftover sticker and I may have just cut through the graphic I'm not sure. Looks like I did, of course. Why would this go easy? Oh yeah, it's like it's like cutting the paper weirdly at the very end of these scissors. All right, so that was a total waste because now this is moving and it's not gonna be centered. So let's try that again. All right, cool, I cut it out. So I guess we'll just stick it in here. Oh, it's all curling up, is that normal? What did it say, five seconds? Oh, great. Uh, let it go, cut out, submerging water. Oh, five seconds, okay. So that was probably five seconds. Oh no, oh no, the thing just came right off, dude. What? Oh, this is, this is not cool. All right, well, I, gosh, I wanna test it on something. Supposed to like put it down and then remove the plastic, I thought, but it's like stuck to the plastic. I think we're gonna see this plastic layer. I thought this removed somehow. All right, well, fail, another fail. Okay, I have another Ferrari logo, the now the third one, and I'm gonna stick it in here. Just kind of hold on to it. Okay, it's probably good. I'm gonna put a little water on the car. Unfortunately, this is gonna have to dry. So. Maybe I should've got tweezers. There we go, I see some separation. Oh, okay, there we go. It's separated, put a little water on the car. Someone in the comments did say to do that. All right, so I'm gonna put this, that way you can like move it around or something. Okay, 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 come on now. Okay, all right, all right. I see what's going on here. Dude, this might work. All right, we gotta move it around, get it nice and straight, get all the backing water out so it'll dry. Um, dude, I think I think that's good, bro. Shoot, I'm trying to get this uh, thing down a little bit there. It's still moving, so that's good. There we go. Shoot, I moved it again somehow. There we go. Okay. Right, dude. I was trying to 
blow the excess water. Dude, that's not terrible. Hello. Not too shabby, dude. This might actually work. Look. And then when we do our clear coat, it should hopefully cover up that little bit of the seam uh, that we see there. Dude, we got a Ferrari logo on our custom 308 Ferrari. Let's try the TFM logo on the roof, dude. All right, let's see if we could do this on the first try. I wanna be careful not to touch that, that right there. It's gotta dry overnight, it says, which I didn't even consider when I started making this video. All right, careful. Put a little drop of water up here, like the gentleman said in the comments. Shout out to you, sir. Was that enough? Yep, that was enough. All right, so I'm just going to do the same thing as before. And hopefully you can see this, kind of. Hold on. I'll give you a little zoom there. Get this out of the way. Oh, careful. Oh, that water in my stream area. All right, I'm going to put this right on the roof. Dude, that's not too bad. I mean, you know, to like make your own graphics. It's not centered though, hold on. Come on over. Come on over. Wow, dude, that's pretty cool. Darn, I moved it. You gotta be careful, it moves so easy. All right, so it didn't work like I thought, you know? I thought like there was two layers to remove, if you understand. Wait, we should do this crooked, right? Yeah, why would it be totally, perfectly straight? Do it like a, like a, oh, oh, easy. Yeah, dude, look at that. I mean, I, I, I don't know if I need better ink. I'm using the HP whatever factory cartridges and it is a photo printer. So anyway, Ferrari on the nose, TFM on the roof. I'm gonna let this thing dry overnight like it says. And then we're gonna get the base out. We're gonna make our axles like we did in the other video. Well, a few videos we've made axles, but yeah, dude, we're gonna do it. That's it. TFM Ferrari. We'll get the glass back in, the interior. We'll put some wheels on here. Uh, I might just remove those wheels from the R33. We've gotten a lot of feedback here. Some people say remove the graphics, but I like the graphics. That's what makes it the Godzilla R33. So I don't want to do that. But I do think that this wheel, you know, would look much better on the Ferrari, being that we're making like a little custom kind of kind of chase car. But yeah, the graphics definitely worked. You can barely see the outside seam. And with a few layers of clear, I think it will disappear. So yeah, maybe we'll take these off and uh, swap out this weird color wheel, get all the right color wheels and put them on the Ferrari. I mean, I think they'll look a lot nicer. We've already checked it out before. We know how to make our axles now. So I think these will look much cooler on our custom Ferrari chase. So I do have my Datsun wagon out. We did this wheel swap and I'm pretty sure we used the same tubing method, but they fit a lot better. I mean, there's a little bit of poke and she's a roller, dude. See, she's a roller. She rolls good, all sides. She's a roller, smooth roller. So we definitely need to make our axles a little bit shorter for the Godzilla R33. Cool, I put my orange Kaido house up here. That was the first mini GT I ever got. Shout out to my friend Adam, gave that to me. Thank you so much.